Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome for this part two of the series of how to start changing your life in only eight weeks. So if you didn't see the video, the part one of this video, um, check it out before this one because you will need the information that you will find in part one for the part two. So this video serves as an introduction to the Fulfilling Life Academy. It's a step-by-step -step program that allows you to start changing your life and to take action towards your dream life without feeling overwhelmed. So why did I decide to create this program? So this step-by-step -step program is based on my personal development journey and it's all about the tips and tricks that I used to start changing life and to be able to break free from the societal expectations and to really ask myself what I really wanted in my life and it helps me to overcome some limiting beliefs and to yeah take action to create my dream life and to live my life fully. Now with what I did in the past, with all the tips uh, that I will give you inside the Fulfilling Life Academy, I'm able to work only three days a week um, and have a, a big apartment in one of the most expensive city in the world and I'm living in Paris now and yeah I'm able to travel, I'm able to go out with friends and I'm able to do all the things that I want to do the rest of the days I have off and you know I have four days during a week that I'm free to do whatever I want with a bigger salary than before yeah it's crazy and it's because um, I decided to trust myself and I decided that it was time to change my life that I'm able to do this now and I want to help people to do the same and to finally enjoy their lives and to stop being a people pleaser and start being the first one on their to-do list. So no fairy tales, no empty promises, just practical strategies. Okay, so now let's talk about the part two of this video about how to start creating your life in only eight weeks. So we saw that it's important to know where you stand, it's important to know who you are and what you want in your life. Then we will talk about goals because you won't change your life without goals. So the first step of this new part is about creating goals that are specific and how to rephrase them so that you will want to achieve them. You will have the motivation and you will know what to do next. So the first step is to rephrase your goals. So if you, for example, want to be rich, how to rephrase it so that it will be specific, relevant, attainable, you know, all these things like the SMART method to, you know, know that it's something that you will reach, it's something that you can measure, it's something that, yeah, you will reach um, in a specific amount of time. So you need to have an end date. So if you want to be rich, for example, um, maybe you don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. So one of your goal will be to create your emergency fund, your six month emergency fund in one year. So you put a date, like for example, we are um, the 15th of June right now. And in one year, I want to be able to build my emergency fund, my six month emergency fund. And I know I will be able to do this because I will make it work so that I will save enough money to have this kind of fund uh, at the end of the year. After that, it's important to break down uh, this goal into smaller steps, even into um, milestones. So for example, if you want to uh, create your emergency fund, your six month emergency fund, maybe one of your milestones will be to reach your two month emergency fund. And after that, your smaller steps, your smaller action will be like creating a budget, you know what uh, are your mandatory expenses, um, 
decide to do some automatic transfer at the beginning of the month and so on. You need to break down each um, milestone into smaller, smaller steps so that you do things, even if it's five minutes a day, um, you do things every single day to reach your goal and you, you know what you need to do next to reach your goal. And it's really important because sometimes you're like, oh, okay, I want to uh, lose weight. Okay, it's great. It's um, 11 p.m. in the evening and I want to lose weight and I'm really motivated to do that, but we will see tomorrow. But finally, tomorrow uh, never exists and you have this kind of goal anytime, thinking about your life and you want to be rich, you want to lose weight, you want to create your business or whatever you want in your life. Um, and you're like, yeah, I want to do that, but we will see that tomorrow. And it's not a good idea. So you need to break down each of your steps into smaller actions so that every time you need to do something, you do it. Even if it's only like uh, printing out your free bank, your last free bank statement. Only that, only printing it. It's only a step. It's a really small step, but you know, it's really important to reach your goal. So think about it. And finally, the final step is to make decisions that are true to yourself. And I know it's difficult to make decisions because as a woman, especially, we have this kind of decision fatigue that even um, knowing what we will eat uh, at dinner is exhausting. So inside the online course, uh, the Fulfilling Life Academy, I talk about the decision fatigue and how to delete it so that it's easier for you to make meaningful decisions that are true to yourself and things that you really want in your life. And I'm also talking about your non-negotiables, things that you really want for you in your life, like having more time for yourself, uh, doing your self-care, uh, be with your partner and so on. So I talk about this inside the online course and I will put the link in the description box below. But it's really important to make meaningful decisions to change your life because I um, started to really um, think about the making decision system when I think about all the decisions that impact my life and impact my well-being uh, that I put inside of others hands and you know when you don't decide you let someone else decide for you when you don't decide what you will eat at dinner you choose to let another one, another person decide for you. And it's the same for all the things in life. When you want something really important and you're like, oh no, I don't want to decide today. I will see that tomorrow. You let another one decide for you. And now I'm really aware of that. And I decided that I wanted to live my life fully and I don't want to, yeah, being a people pleaser and just thinking about myself. It's like being a little bit selfish, obviously. And yeah, if you want to start changing your life, you need to be a little bit selfish because you're not here because you want to change life of someone else. Um, you're here because you want to change your life. So inside the online course, I talk about how to create a decision making system that sticks and that is for you and that works for you actually. And I also created this decision making system so that you're not paralyzed by a decision anymore and you can move forward to make your decision and to feel less overwhelmed by the process. And inside, of course, I talk about goals. I talk about how to break down each goal into milestones and how to break down milestones into small steps. Um, and I created a lot of content and PDFs so that it's easier for you to do it. And I also included a lot of bonuses. So if you're interested, I will put the link in the description box below. And as I told you in the part one of this video, it's the first time that I will launch this uh, 
program and for that I want to offer you a special price of 127 and it's the first and last time I will charge you this price so don't miss out this special price and be sure to be here and I will be so um, glad to see you there if you have any question about this program, feel free to email me. You have all the contact info inside uh, the description. And yeah, feel free to reach me if you have any issues or something. And I can't wait to see you there. Uh, so I will end up this video here. And until next time, take care friends. <music>